peeps. Last year I posted some pictures to my Facebook page from local churchyards and cemeteries. The point of that was to show the curiosities that you can still find them. And they were namely mort houses and mort safes. A few of you got in touch and said they found it really interesting. With that in mind, I thought I would return to the churchyards and cemeteries and show you more of what's out there. Because here in Aberdeen and Aberdeenshire, we're quite lucky to have a lot of these still lying about in old churchyards. And we're going to look at some of them. What we're going to look at is watch houses, mort houses and mort safes. A watch house was a small structure in a cemetery where armed guards would stay overnight. And they were there to, again, to deter body snatchers. They would come from the local community or local militiamen or people hired just to keep watch. They were generally armed and they weren't always successful. Cemeteries had a lot of superstition and some of these armed guards could be quite nervous and there's plenty of accounts of local cattle being shot or gravestones being shot. There's also stories of them shooting each other as well as falling asleep and spending the night drinking so they weren't always successful. Another structure you, you could find in cemeteries is mort houses. A mort house was somewhere where coffins were stored for a period of time. And when it was deemed that the deceased was no longer viable for medical science, the coffin would then be buried as normal. However, these would normally come at a cost and a lot of families couldn't afford to keep a coffin in a mort house. Another measure that was taken was mort safes. A mort safe was generally an iron lattice structure. So when the coffin was buried, that would go in the ground with them. The Aberdeenshire mort safe is quite unique as that generally had a granite slab on top of it. But mort safes would come in all forms of shape and sizes. Another type of mort safe was an iron coffin there was also stone coffins used um, and also there was mort slabs. A mort slab was just basically a, a slab of granite or stone that was placed over the grave. And these are the sort of measures that were taken to try and deter body snatching. And that's because body snatching was big business at the end of the 18th century, turn of the 19th century. A lot of universities and colleges were progressing with medical science and they needed cadavers to do that. A lot of the students were tasked to go out and find fresh cadavers. So body snatching became big business. That all ended in 1832 with the Anatomy Act. And basically what happened with that is any person that died as a pauper or died in poverty and the family couldn't uh, or wouldn't uh, claim the body, these bodies were generally donated to medical science. And that's why body snatching practically ended overnight. We're going to go and visit some of these local cemeteries and churchyards, and I'm going to show you some of the watch houses and mort houses and mort safes that are still lying about. And I want to do that, so if you're ever in one of these churchyards, then you can see them for yourself. They really are interesting. This is Newhill Cemetery Watch House. Sadly, it's in a wee bit of a sorry state. Like this watch house here in Bankery St Devonix. Well here in Bankery St Devonix, you have an iron coffin. And it lies just against the wall if you ever want to come and see it. Or this example of an iron coffin here in Cactonodorus. 
And the story goes that before this iron coffin was brought here, a farmer up in Crathus used it as a water trough for his cattle. <laughs> this is Clooney Old Churchyard, and it is a beautiful little churchyard. Um, the site here, I think, dates back to medieval times, and there's some really fantastic headstones here. The site is dominated by the mausoleum, which is dedicated to Eliza Fraser. But that's not why we are here. We are here because this line in front of the mausoleum is four beautiful examples of Aberdeenshire mort safes. This is Marnock Cemetery, and here in the cemetery we've got a nice building here. The building behind me is a two-storey design. The upper storey was used as a watch house. Um, in later years it became the grave digger's house and amongst other things. But the upper floor was for the watch house. And as you can see, we have steps leading down to a door. And that door housed the Mort House. Now the door looks open, so the question is, do I go down and investigate? I think I should. Sadly, I've forgotten to take a torch with me. But it's really nice that the door's open and this is a really good example of what a marked house was like. It's a vaulted ceiling um, and you, you probably can't make it out in the camera but there's lines across the back wall where the shelves would have been and that is where they would have stored the coffins until a time when it was decided that this deceased wasn't viable for the anatomy schools and then they'd have been buried in the, in the cemetery. It's commonly used as a, a, <laughs> a forgotten tool shed. There's a lot of stuff in here lying about. But hey, um, it's really good that the door's open. It's really good that I've accessed it. Yes, yeah, a really nice example of a mortar house. Good stuff. <laughs> 